Welcome to the new chapter. I am Dr. Milka Kremlund. This show is about wellness. Today we are covering stress management, uh, body-mind connection, spirituality, and a few other things as well, including energy. Uh, I do have a guest in the show today with me. His name is Alberto Hernandez. Welcome, Alberto. Hi, Milka. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. So Alberto, he has been my teacher and colleague for several years, and I want to have him on the show so we can really learn from him. What are the different things that he teaches and uh, what are the benefits people are receiving from his work? So Alberto, can you tell me a little bit about your background? Well, a little bit about my background. Well, I have an academic background, computer science. I started in Mexico and also when I came here to the States, I studied dance extensively for about 15, 16 years. And also I studied some martial arts, a lot of body movement awareness, and I'm a certified Pilates instructor. So uh, what I teach in the workshop is related to understanding the body, to have a somatic awareness of the body and also uh, in the area of spirituality I have a very important figure in my life my meditation teacher Mei Chen with whom I studied for about 12 years and then the last three years that I spent in her practice I was assisting her leading the class and that was to me the best training that I ever received in the area of spirituality. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so many years of experience. Long time med spent probably meditation, probably hours and hours. Who knows how many hours it's been, right? Yes, I know. So um, my family in Mexico, they're related to energy work, energy healer. So it's something that it's no, no, unknown in the family it has been ingrained for generations so you are very comfortable when it comes to energy and healing right yes <laughs> that's excellent now what about the workshop uh the name of the workshop is self-responsibility so where does the name come from and what is could you tell me a little bit about the workshop well uh the name self-responsibility comes because for us we need to take self-responsibility of our lives and it is just like Jesus said, physician, heal thyself. So we need to focus on doing our part. And in the workshop, I lead the participants to understand better their body so they can focus on proper body alignment, proper breathing, how to use their bones in space and to minimize the impact of gravity on their bodies. And also I guide them through some simple exercises, demonstrations to understand how the mind processes information, how we co-create reality. And then uh, I cover the area of understanding the energy field in the body. So we work with that. And lastly, I lead him into the meditation that I was taught by my teacher, Mei Chen, which is pretty much surrendering in the heart. Now, you've been teaching a lot of different people, um, I believe around the world, you traveled as well. So could you tell me a little, about, a little bit about your workshop working in different cultures? Sometimes there's language barriers as well. So how is this experience if you don't speak the same language? Is that a problem? No, it's not at all, because again, the workshop focuses on experience. And children have participated in the workshop, uh, elders, and they don't even speak English. So I was teaching in Turkey in a Muslim uh, gathering, the Sufi gathering in Yalova in Turkey last year. And at this gathering, a lot of the participants, they didn't speak uh, English, but we have some translators. In Moscow, the same thing. In Israel, pretty much they spoke English, majority of people there. But uh, as I was traveling around, it hasn't been an issue. On the contrary, 
Uh, there was this man in Prague, as I was teaching, he refused to get people translating for him. Even though he didn't understand that much, he said he wanted to surrender to the experience. And as he was surrendering to the experience, to the amazement of some of the participants, one day he was having an amazing experience, just experiencing the energy field in his own uh, body and as well as his partner. They were doing some exercise, feeling the energy field. So it was very rewarding to see something like that when the person surrenders. And that's one of the things that I emphasize all the time. And I said to the participants, I said to them, uh, it's not how much you know, it is how much you surrender to the present moment and to your own experience. And that's what gives you the results. Oh, that's great. Now, what about, you mentioned the bones and the muscles. Um, those sound like exercises to me. So could you a little bit um, kind of talk about that so the viewers can better understand the muscles versus the bones? Is there something you can maybe demonstrate or uh, explain? Well, yes, I can demonstrate. And this uh, demonstration comes from Aikido. It's the unbendable arm demonstration. That's how it was introduced to it. So uh, what we do, and you get to experience it, so first put your arm extended in front of you and right here it's like shaking someone's hand at shoulder level and then from here you can clench your fist and you hold it really tight hold very tight don't let me bend your arm okay excellent so now let's do it this way without tensing any muscle this time we're just gonna focus on lining uh, the bones in a space just like a statue like the bones are fixated. The muscles had nothing to do but just to keep, with minimum effort, the arm in space. And once we do this, we try to bend the arm and I can apply a lot of force. And I'm relaxing much, a lot here, by the way. I'm yes, very relaxed. Um, pretty much we are unable to bend the arm. So we don't want to do this demonstration in a lock elbow position because we can injure the participant, so we do it slightly bent. The natural arc that the arm has since his resting position. So again, it is applying force under and right here, one hand on top of the biceps, the other one under the forearm. And try to lever. It's not about hurting the person, it's just about bringing that awareness that the bones can accomplish with minimum effort. This is really, very relaxing exercise actually. I was not fighting, it's not like using weights or fitness machines to do the exercise. I was just simply relaxing the arm and lengthening the, focus on lengthening the arm, the bones. So this simple demonstration, we can talk days about it because mm -hmm. it's pretty much is like the Chinese say, the way we way, do without doing. We are doing here with the muscles when we tense, everything is tense, so we're wasting a lot of energy. When all we have to do, we gotta trust nature. Just placing the bones in space, and then just allow the bones, that they're harder than the muscles, to do the same thing, and the arm cannot be bent. So this simple demonstration also teaches us that when we are tensing the muscles, this is when our mind tries to operate, controlling things. But when we surrender, we harmonize with nature. So this is the way of the mind, tightening the muscles, or the way of nature, by allowing the bones to naturally place in a space. So uh, as we work with the body in the workshop, the first thing that I, I am focusing on is to take away the excessive stress tensions that the person has in the body. And it is not by coming and shaking their body. No, it's about leading them to have a clear understanding how to place their bones in space so they take away the tensions. And once we do that, the participant then has a lot more oxygen going into the brain. Because in order for us to tense a muscle, we require oxygen. And if we have a chronic tendency that our muscles are always tense, not enough oxygen is going to the brain. 
That's really interesting. Now, there might be viewers wondering, um, is there a certain background you should have in order to be able to be in a class? Uh, the, you know, you already mentioned you've been practicing a long time. Yeah, are there specific things that people should know ahead of time before coming? Um, or is it okay just to come to class and experience it? No, they're welcome to come in and experience. And to my amazement, many times, and as I always said to the participants, it is not about how much you know, how many years of training you have, because even to my, to this workshop, some yoga instructors have come and then I do a simple demonstration, placing their bones in space. And I just press down on their shoulders and their bodies, they're not fully rooted. They're not grounded. They're wibbling in space. And then after I line up their bones in space, I press down, they hold their bodies steady. So this demonstration is to show that they're not using their bones properly. And that is very important because when they properly use the bodies in a space, then there is no waste of oxygen throughout the body and it can be used more efficiently. Now, learning about these things sounds like it takes a little bit of time and it also takes effort to keep what you've learned with you. Um, is this something you learn just learn once and then it's kind of with you for the rest of your life? Or is this something that you want to kind of build a practice um, um, that you do? Well, ideally, that is what helps us. Practice and repetition. Because practice and repetition, it starts harmonizing the body and the mind. If we just have this knowledge in our head, then the body, it hasn't fully embraced it. And if we just do a little bit of exercise without the awareness in the brain, the same thing. The body might have a little bit of practice, but it cannot be fully developed until it's fully integrated in the brain. So they both need to be harmonized. And through the practice, that's what we emphasize, to harmonize the body and the mind. And many times, some of the participants, uh, they tell me, yes, I feel great and it's been wonderful, the workshop, the meditation. But after a few days, I go back and I say, yes, well, the thing is that you need to continue practicing. It is, is a 24 hours engagement, meaning that even in our dream state, that's how I was taught by my teacher. It is not enough to know. We must be able to actually do every single moment of our lives. Oh, that's, that's really good to know. Uh, it just does take some discipline and effort to keep it um, keep it all going, right? The practice. Now, yeah. I'm sure there are some resources that the viewers might be interested in. Um, I believe you have some resources available on your website. Is, um, could you tell me a little bit about your website? How can people find it? So if they have questions, they can uh, find information and resources. Well, the information that I have is a little bit limited. It's uh, it's a work in progress. The workshop, the uh, I mean, the website right now. Um, the where I have some links to download some information, especially geared towards the ones that are more into spirituality, uh, to have a very clear understanding that some of these traditions, like the Buddhist, the Christian, the um, Taoism, Hinduism, they all go back to the same root. That everything is one. Everything comes from one source. And I had this, a few books that I recommend the person to read. And it is to have a better understanding. Because in the workshop, I also do a little lecture here and there. I don't like to talk too much in the workshop because I'd rather focus on the participants getting a direct experience. So what we do, I mentioned bits and pieces of some, some important notes from the Bible, quotes from the Bible, excuse me. So the Buddhist text, Hinduism. So, and also I have a couple of links to some uh, scientific research done. So a lot of what I teach, it has been backed up by science. Well, that sounds fantastic. So selfresponsibility.org is the website that yeah, one can go to. Self-responsibility.org. 
Perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to share these wonderful things uh, with the viewers. Um, I hope to uh, wish you luck with your workshops and your future. It's such an amazing area, being in the area of spirituality, body-mind connection, stress management, and effortlessness in terms of movement. So thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me, Milka. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for watching the new chapter. We look forward to seeing you next time.